Good morning from a little snowstorm. It doesn't look like it's snowing that hard on camera, but it's, it's snowing quite a lot out there. Today is a super exciting day. Happy Monday. Today is my first day of grad school and I wanted to take you guys along so I could document this journey for you guys. Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is it. This is a very big day, Pascal. If you don't get that reference, we cannot be friends, like seriously, at all. Um, I'm just kidding, kind of not really. Um, but hello, good morning. Uh, it's my first day of grad school and I'm so excited. I took the day off work just so I could kind of enjoy my first day to the fullest. And mainly because I just wanted to like get organized, get my due dates in, all that kind of stuff and just have like the day to do that. Um, if you guys are new here, hi, my name's Carter. I'm 24. I work a nine to five in corporate healthcare. I live in Ottawa, Canada. And I recently got accepted into grad school. So I'm not doing a master's. I'm getting a graduate diploma because it just saves a lot of money and it's I don't want to say it's basically the same thing because I feel like that doesn't give enough credit to like the master's students, but for what I want to do in the hospital, I wanted to save some money just because I am doing grad school out of pocket. I'm not taking out student loans. And so I'm going the grad school route. Um, so I'm doing a one year like accelerated program in healthcare management. And from there, we'll see where it takes us. Um, and yeah, so this semester I'm taking two classes. Um, I need seven classes overall. So I'll do three in the summer and two in the fall or vice versa. It really just depends. I think this is gonna be more of like also preparing for a new semester because I didn't get any of my syllabi until today. They weren't open. So I couldn't do a separate like prepping for a new semester or prepping for grad school vlog. So I think that's what today's really gonna be is just kind of like prepping. I think this is also just gonna be a morning vlog just because I have a bunch of content I have to shoot this afternoon as well. So it's just gonna be kind of like spending the morning with me. My grad school in specific, the program I'm taking is really great because most of the courses I have to take to graduate are offered asynchronous as well as synchronous. So synchronous just means like you, kind of like your typical university class, like you have a lecture time and you have to be there. Whereas, a, a, whereas asynchronous is just kind of like learning on your own time. So um, my classes this semester are asynchronous and for the most part, I'm gonna try and keep them that way just because you guys know I have a crazy schedule. I do YouTube full-time, I have a full-time job and I just balance a lot. So it makes more sense to have an asynchronous schedule. So I don't actually have any classes today necessarily, but we're gonna get ready, we're gonna prep for a new semester. I may have a new planner coming. <laughs> And I just wanted to document this for you guys because I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I just made a coffee. It's just a decaf because I've already had a coffee this morning, as you guys saw. And I do want to try an energy drink that I have in the fridge this afternoon. So we're having a little decaf just for a little pick-me-up because it's currently snowmageddon outside. Like, it's literally insane how much snow we are getting. I think of the best way to do this because I don't know when my planner is getting dropped off, like, deliver. Like, it's out for delivery, but that could be, like, 8 a.m. or, like, 6 p.m. So I think I'm going to go into my office and maybe like download my syllabi and just look them over and put in our due dates. I have a few things that I want to do this semester differently or this semester. I mean like in school differently. Uh, welcome to the vlog. If you guys are new here, I would love it if you considered subscribing. I upload three videos a week. I upload a lot of finance content, productivity, work you name it honestly just like raw and unfiltered life i love talking about life in your 20s and bringing that into the internet in a super realistic and relatable way for you guys and yeah without further ado let's jump into it let me have a sip of coffee let's head up to my office and maybe just like get started on getting things organized i literally just realized there's been a blanket on my couch the whole time i'm not an organized person this morning and yeah i'm so excited let's do this I want to give you guys like a quick little outfit of the day before we sit down and get to work. I'm wearing Princess Polly. All Princess Polly. I'm obsessed. It's this New York crew neck and then just like these kind of like loungy shorts. You can definitely roll them, but I just prefer to kind of like hike them up. I think it's so cute and cozy. Okay, I'm trying to think of the best setup for this. I think I'm going to use my monitor. So I'm going to plug that into my laptop. And then I also have my iPad with me. So I don't know what to pull up where. I also have my old planner, but this planner ends in March because it's like a, it's 2021 to 2022. That's why. So you only get like three months of the new year. So that's why I end up getting a new one. Um, so that's just here until my new one comes, but I am going to pull up my syllabus and log into like Brightspace. I have opened up my portal. I already have a grad school folder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two folders with my course names. Systems. And then what's my other course? 
long-term care service. And then I'm gonna make a Google Sheet, and this is just going to be grad school due dates. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put in all of my due dates here so I don't miss them and I have them in a million spots. <laughs> I also was just looking to see if I have any textbooks and I think I just have one for one of the courses. So I'm just gonna go and figure out um, what the name of the textbook is. Health and Healthcare Delivery in Canada, third edition. Okay, I am going to look and see if there's anywhere I can get this textbook, like a PDF version for cheaper. So I'm just for how expensive textbooks were, oh my gosh. Okay, so. $50 for a PDF. What the heck? Oh, I found it for $29.69. That's what I'm talking about. You don't have karma. What are you doing? I literally just got $5 off. This is obviously not an ad, but I just love them. They're like a little browser that gives you discount codes, and I find it better than honey. So um, I love that for us. So I already went ahead and made a calendar for grad school. It's this pink one right here. So highly recommend making a separate calendar for whatever you're trying to separate in your life. It makes such a big difference. Dates that I have from here so far and put them in this calendar as well so I don't miss them because I get a notification on the day that things come up in this calendar. So it's a good way to kind of like double check and make sure I have everything done. just completed a little like introduction discussion post one of the things i'm trying to do with grad school since obviously i do work full-time like just have so much on my plate is to be ahead kind of like youtube i want to be a week ahead and i'm really excited about it i definitely think it's going to be a little bit easier shortly i have some exciting news coming um but i definitely want to just keep ahead and stay on top of things and so i got that discussion post out of the way just waiting for my planner so i might just take like a little bit of a break and wait for my planner to come in and then we can go ahead and like kind of get all of that going i think that's a good idea but i'm just going to make sure that there's nothing else that i can like start doing now since i'm kind of like in a motivated mood if that makes sense so I could start on like the first module for some of my courses, which I think I might, and I'm kind of just in the mood to get started, get cracking. So I might do that in a little bit, but I'm gonna take a break, take self for a walk. I think it's really important to like get up and stretch. I don't wanna over also overwork myself today because I do have the day off, so I do wanna also relax. Um, but I'm going to like get up, stretch, take a little bit of a break because I've been sitting here for a little bit now and I'm starting to feel a little scatterbrained. And then when I come back, maybe we'll get started on some work and hopefully my planner will be here, so. Great day so far. I'm so excited to learn. I love learning. Okay, guys, my new planner is here. I love how minimal it is. I feel like it's so hard to find one these days. It is an August one, but I'm going to just cut out the pages. But it looks like this. I'll link it down below. It's from Amazon. It's the brand Orange Circle Studio. And I love it because look at all of these goal trackers. I like very simple planners. Um, I don't love super complex ones. I mean, this one has a bunch of extra stuff, which is fine, but I won't use it. But I like that it has a little notes section and then I'll show you guys the monthly layouts. So it has a nice big monthly calendar, which I don't really use because I like my Google calendar, but look how big the sections are, which is exactly what I wanted. I wanted something that was more of a space that I could just jot down to do's instead of like lines. I don't know, I just liked this. I could scribble, I could do what I want and I love how big the boxes are, like I'm obsessed. So. That's what it looks like. I really, 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 really love it. Like I said, I can link it down below for you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and like fill out some of the things in it. Ugh, nothing beats a fresh planner. Alrighty guys, so I never showed you guys my to-do list for the day, but this is what it looks like. And then I started to fill in a bit of the planner. Um, I'm just trying to find the right page. Obviously we're like halfway through January, which kind of sucks, but 
I also accidentally started checking off things for tomorrow onto today, but it's fine. This is what it looks like. I just love how big it is because I'm a big to-do list person. I don't think I'm going to keep writing the whole like work thing in here. Like it's pretty obvious that I'm working. You know what I mean? Like I need to stop doing that. Uh, and then I just put all of my due dates in and I actually found the due dates for my second course, which is awesome. They were like in a discussion board. So I have all of my due dates in there with like a little spot so I can just check it off when it's done. So everything is in there. I'm going to wait to do the monthly part probably when I do my monthly resets because it's just going to literally be a copy of my Google Calendar. Um, but I really like having these in ahead of time because obviously, like I said, it's better to have it in a million places than just one. So that's all updated, which I like. Obviously, I'm only taking two classes, so there's just like not a ton in here yet. But I love the do list, but I'm going to stop doing the whole work thing. I think it's pretty obvious, and I would just rather have like to-do lists and like scribbles and stuff. So, alrighty guys, now that my calendar is somewhat filled out, and I'm kind of just like experimenting it with, which by the way, I love it. It's such a big one. I love big calendars, and I like floppy calendars because I'm left-handed. So it's really important to me that like it's a good bendable calendar, if that makes sense. But I feel like I've done everything I need to do. I kind of figured this vlog would be a bit short, but it is what it is. Um... I think I'm going to try to figure out like what my routine is going to be at school, if that makes sense. Do I want to do like Sunday afternoons? Do I want to do a weeknight just in terms of getting school done? Do I want to do a little bit every morning and just get up early and get into a good routine? I feel like I'm trying to figure it out. If you guys are in grad school and you're like working too, let me know what you do, like how you kind of balance it all because it's obviously going to take me a few weeks to figure it out and I might do some trial and error you know I might try the weekends I might try getting up early an hour every day we'll kind of have to see I don't love the idea of doing it on weekends because obviously I already juggle so much and my weekends are really my time off I think I would rather like do either one weeknight or just do like a little bit every day if that makes sense so I'm just trying to figure it out and obviously I won't be able to figure it out until I start doing it so I think I'm gonna spend the next like two weeks figuring it out and just trying different things out and maybe trying to get up even just like at six i mean i'm not a morning person so i really hate the thought of like making myself get up early but maybe i'll enjoy it i also feel like i maybe shouldn't work as soon as i get up because i feel like i'm gonna be really sleepy so i don't know if you guys are in grad school let me know kind of how you do it and like what your routine is i obviously know it's different for everyone and um yeah, that's my little update. But I've just been sitting at my desk getting a little bit more work done and I realized I didn't really tell you guys like a bit more in depth about what my classes are this semester. So I figured I would in case you guys are curious. I'm honestly so excited because I feel like for the first time I'm learning something that I'm really passionate about and I'm excited to learn about. So my first class is class is principles of long-term care service and i'm just reading off the course outline and it says to collect interpret assess and debate strategies for facilitating planning in healthcare settings monitoring the changing field of healthcare and identify gaps in current assumptions and reevaluating current practices identifying and summarizing key pieces of legislation and government policy that will directly impact long-term care reading newspaper health related stories and identifying the underlying issues that impact long-term care services so i'm excited about that one i would say out of the two i'm more excited for the second one that i'm about to read you guys because it just seems super fun my second course is called the healthcare systems and this one is probably just like more of an overview. A lot of it is history, which you guys know I'm a huge history buff, so I'm really excited for this course. But this one says that we will learn how the Canadian healthcare system works, compare federal and provincial roles in health policy, so like um, federal and state for those of you in the US, um, what role public health plays in the future, analyzing current and future healthcare trends, and explaining rationale for some of the current healthcare policies in Canada. So I'm super excited about both of those. And... I'm gonna feel how do you feel about mommy going to school huh Stella how do you feel are you excited oh it's tiring eh it's so exhausting mommy being in school so tiring eh I love you I love you oh you're so sleepy all right you guys I got this like cute little energy drink the other day at the grocery store it's called Runa Berry Boost I'm excited to try it out you guys know I like energy drinks sometimes in the afternoon I just crave like something sweet you know and i usually have an afternoon coffee so i figured i'd try this considering we're gonna do a little workout all right name let's do it i'm so excited to do it because 
they have Encanto on it. I'm literally so stoked. So I'm going to do this, kind of get like that's something I really want to work on with balancing school again is not just like sitting at my desk for like eight hours straight, but like getting up and moving in between because when I lose focus, I get really frustrated and I know I can just fix it by like getting a workout or getting some movement in, especially since we're in lockdown and we can't go to coffee shops. I just feel like I envision my first day being like going to a coffee shop and being so like fun and cute and here we are, but I'm gonna do this little 30 minute spin class and then I honestly might call it a day. I don't really wanna overwhelm myself too much on the first day and like I said, I'm still trying to build a bit of a routine for what I wanna do when. So I actually might just spin and then stop school for the day just because I do wanna enjoy the rest of the day and just read and I don't wanna overwhelm my brain because I think that's not a good way to start your semester, but we'll see. First thing we're gonna do is spin. Hello everyone, it is currently 3.45. Have I spent the last three hours sitting here and reading, absolutely, no shame about it, honestly. And it's so funny because you guys know I'm all about, <laughs> Stella's just like, hi, mom, I want some attention now. You guys know I'm all about breaking the mold when it comes to like working and just posting content on YouTube, right? Like you don't have to be productive 24 seven. You can have lazy days, it's okay. Like we're here, I'm here to tell you guys that. And like, I feel like I'm like, oh, I can't not be productive. But when I hear someone say it, I'm like, oh yeah, they're right. Like I don't have to be productive all the time. But the second I shifted my brain back to like college content or school content or grad school content, I felt this need to be productive 24 seven. And that's because I realized that the college community, the school community preaches productivity 24 seven, right? And so, I had to like remind myself that I have built this community on honesty and transparency and it's okay to be lazy and it's okay to be realistic and you don't have to be go, go, go all the time. But I almost caught myself falling back into that trap again because I was like, oh, I need to film something more fun for this first day of grad school video. I, I need to do more. I need to read more. I need to do more work. I need to get ahead, more ahead than I already am. And I had to catch myself and be like, no, you don't have to be productive 24 seven. You know, you got what you need to get done on your to-do list and that's good. Give yourself a high five and call it a day you know what I mean I just wanted to include that because I already find myself kind of like falling back into that like productivity mindset of like college content and grind 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 and study 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 and school 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 but it doesn't have to be that way and as long as you get things submitted on time and you want to spend three hours in your afternoon reading a freaking book after you do your assignment you do it and I support you so that's what I wanted to say. And also part of that came from, I was editing this just to be ahead. I like to edit my videos as I film them. And uh, I noticed, I was like, oh, this isn't like crazy, crazy long. So I think future grad school content will probably be weak in my life just because I'm finding myself maybe doing little bits here and there. And like obviously a day in my life is just not enough. But I think for the first day, it's like exciting. But going forward, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want to see like grad school diaries that are just like all of my grad school content from a week clustered or do you want to sit like full week of my life with work and school let me know what you think but um this is the newest book that i picked up i am gonna film a book haul actually on wednesday i took a half day i'm really just taking all the pto because i have so much of it to use and our fiscal year ends in april we can only carry a certain amount over so i'm trying to use up what i have left um, I'm taking a half day and I'm having a me day because today was also supposed to be my me day, but obviously we had this huge snowstorm. So I have a me day and grab a coffee and go to the bookstore and just do a book call and stuff. Um, so <clears throat> a lot of you guys have been asking for a book call and I promise it's coming, but this is my current read. I actually picked it up the other day. It's the Made by Nita Prose. It's a new book. I got the Indigo exclusive and it's a thriller and I'm really excited about it. It's really, really good so far. I'm not crazy far into it. Last three and a half hours on the couch and I don't have any intention on getting up anytime soon. I think Matt and I are gonna take Stella to the dog park later. It looks like it stopped snowing for a little bit anyways. And then we're gonna go to like Costco tonight and whatnot. And we're gonna have chicken tacos from Costco because those are the best like pre-made meals. So yeah, I just wanted to have that little rant with you guys because I kind of caught myself slipping and I know a lot of you guys were also starting grad school or you're in grad school and I just wanted to remind you guys that you don't have to be productive 24 seven because I feel like when you think productive, you think of like the hardcore college vloggers and no shade to them. Like I love them, but it's just a reminder that you don't have to be productive 24 seven, you know, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna keep reading until Matt gets home. That's my little rant. I also just ate some turkey and brie just like on its own, straight chilling. It was delicious. So I was going wild. Look at this dog. What's she doing? I end the vlog off here just because I'm actually just gonna relax the rest of the night. I feel like 
taking on something like grad school when you already work full time and do YouTube is a lot and I don't want to overwhelm myself on the first day and I want to get into a good routine with you know doing some work doing some school and then resting and relaxing like I said I'm still trying to figure out what kind of routine I want to do hope you guys enjoyed if you're new here I hope you consider subscribing and I'll talk to you guys next time bye